Welcome back to the Welcome. Surf and Turf. What? Welcome back to the Surf and Turf podcast, guys. <laughs> I'm your host, Chicken. This is my co-host, Jimmy. Are we both co-hosts? How do you, how do you say yeah, that? Co-host. Yeah, okay, we're so co-host. we're both co-hosts. Like, or am I the host and you're just the? Uh, oh. um, <laughs> what am I? Hold on, hold on. You are the um, assistant to the host. <laughs> there you go. Wait, what? What? What are you thinking, bro? <laughs> I was I was making a good office reference there. You're uh, not the assistant oh, yeah, host. Yeah. You're the you're the assistant to the host. I was gonna I was gonna make a a TikTok comment joke. Oh, a TikTok comment! Oh my god, <laughs> stop, bro! You are the cultivator. You are the <laughs> shrimp. <laughs> You are the man, bro. Jumbo shrimp, some would say. Jumbo, oh, no. Uh, anyways, guys, wherever you're watching, we appreciate you tuning in. If you're watching on YouTube, man, we've been getting we've been getting pretty good views on those YouTube shorts, man. Couple in the yeah, thousands, man. Like we're doing pretty good on YouTube shorts, guys. Continue to watch them. Subscribe to the channel as always. Like, comment, whatever. Uh, we're gonna be playing a game later. A little bit of. Uh, I'm going to test Jimmy's knowledge, see what he thinks of some percentages based on people in the world. So definitely give me your answers there. Jimmy's uh, losing it in the background as normal. And uh, yeah, how's your week, man? Pretty good. Pretty good. How about you? Uh, it, it was okay. I touched a little bit about this on on uh, yesterday. I uh, Yesterday, well... Thursday, I'll just give you a day. Uh, I just had like such a, a rough day at work. Like, oh my gosh, dude. Like, I just had a headache. I was on a call and like people were just like, you were being negative. And like, I just, it just bummed me out so much and it gave me such a bad headache. And yeah, I hate when people are being negative. I know, right, dude? <laughs> Jimmy, you're, you're it can really mess up your day, dude. Bro, you're straight. Yeah, it is. It no, dude. It's straight. Like it gave me a headache, and then like I almost had an anxiety attack. Like mm-hmm. I was like, oh my gosh. Like I, uh, it was rough. And then that, like you know, like I didn't do. I I got on for a little bit to play. I we we had a raid night on Thursday with our WoW guild. I got on to do that, and then I got off. Like I literally just like marinated on the couch all day. Or like when I got home, like I just was not feeling good. Yeah, you know. Yeah, for right sure. On. Going back to the shorts though, if if you're not watching on YouTube, go watch us on YouTube, or go at least drop us a sub or a subscribe. Yeah, subscribe to us on YouTube. Yeah, bro. Put on those post notifications, and if you follow us on YouTube, go follow us on TikTok. Yeah, um, man. We post the same stuff there. Go tell Chicken how good he looks. I <laughs> tell Jimmy how bad he looks. Hey, <laughs> just kidding. That's guys. what the randos are for. Yeah, really. We got we got a lot of people spin some hate in the comments. Like, uh, leave, leave that at home, guys. Come on, leave that for your sister. We, like, come on. We've touched on that in another podcast about bullying. Oh, before dude. before like before we took a long break. Uh Actually, the TikTok I was talking about earlier to you off off podcast, I got a lot of hate. Um, we talked about that, about how people were just mean and how like I always was like, oh, yeah, like how much does like a TikTok comment like really affect you? Like, blah, oh, my blah. gosh. Yeah. <laughs> and it does, dude. I It's like today I saw a few and that time. I saw a few, and it makes me not want to make content anymore, honestly. Bro, people are so mean. And, like, it, it's sad because, like, and I, I thought about this the other day, too. When I, when I literally, like, scroll through TikTok, I don't use TikTok. Like, I typically use, like, YouTube shorts or, like, uh, Facebook, like, reels, whatever. Um, when I scroll through, it's typically people that are either, well, no, it's not typically. It's mostly just people that are really attractive. And I'm like, like, or do we follow people just because they're attractive? Like we want to look like them. Like, 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 I, I don't understand. Like what, what, what the heck? I mean, it just knows what you want. It's your ag- algorithm. Well, I mean, 
It's not that I don't like looking at attractive people. It's just, come on, bro. We need some more ugly people. We need some more ugly people in media, bro. <laughs> that's why. <laughs> that's, that's why we're why. here. To bring out the ugly people. <laughs> nah, but be nice on the internet, kids, and we won't have any issues. Don't be turd nuggets, because when you start being turd nuggets, then, then I'm going to have to kill you. Just kidding. That, that went way too far. I'm going to have to have a stern talking to you. Yeah. Bro. Get, get, go get therapy. If you're making mean comments that's on true. TikTok, go get therapy because you need love. You know what I was thinking the other day? I come up with a lot of weird words like turd nugget. But like to me, it makes complete sense. Like if I said turd nugget to you, what, what would you think? Like what do you think of when I say turd nugget? A nugget of turd. But like... Like, give me a little more context. Like, <laughs> like, come on, you gotta give me some context. Like, when I like, thought you say someone's being a turd nugget, yeah. Like when I'm like, you're being a turd nugget. Um, you're being a turd nugget. You're being, you're, you're being a jerk. Yeah. Basically, so like when I'm like, "Hey, Jimmy, you're a turd nugget," you instantly think that is bad, right? Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. I think it's like a nugget of turd. You know, that's pretty. So okay. So I came up like with a piece of poop. Yeah, a piece of poop, bro. But like when I think of it, I'm like, you know, when you gotta go poop, like you go sit down and you're just like, you know, like <laughs> you're just sitting on your throne and you're just like, and then like you look down and you're like, whoa, I, I basically filled the bowl there, you know, and then. Other times when you go and you got to take a dump and you literally, you are like, ah, oh, dude, like you're just like, get up there and you're just like, just like ah! bro. And you like straight, like scream <laughs> for like five minutes and then you look in the bowl and there's just this tiny little nugget of turd <laughs> and you're just like, are you kidding me? I literally just strained for like five minutes. And all I get is this little turd nugget. That's what a turd nugget is, bro. <laughs> what? I had to demonstrate, dog. <laughs> Why did you, did you stand on the seat like that? <laughs> yeah, bro. You had to demonstrate you like taking a massive no, dookie. you stand on the seat like that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how I take a dump. I stand on top of the seat and poop in the top backwards? part. You ever sit backwards? Dude, dumping and, uh... backwards is like scientific. It's like revolutionary. Really? You've done it? Like two or three times. Not like a lot. Like, like face the wall. Yeah. Huh? Do you use like the tengas? Like a yeah, dude. Depth? I used to do it all the time when I. So like when I was in high school, like I don't know why, but like. Like, your body knows, like, certain rhythms. And, like, whenever I'd get home, like, right home from work, I'd have to, I'd have to take a dookie. And I'd take my backpack in the back. I'd take just, I'd literally just go, like, right in my house, straight to the bathroom. And I'd be like, ah, oh, you know, I'm going to do some homework on the toilet real quick. So, you know, I spent, like, a half hour in the bathroom doing some homework, you know. Um, yeah, <laughs> this is really weird. Sorry, but... That's what I used to do, man. Really? <laughs> speechless. Literally speechless. Yeah, I used to do that. Every I'm once just watching in a while. your cat scratch herself in the background. Oh, yeah. What up, kitty? Man, we really do. Meow. <laughs> Meow. Meow. Yeah, look, you scared her off. Way to go. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Oh, no, she's taking a deuce. <laughs> uh. She's standing on the top of the tank. Yeah, standing on top. Oh my god. Uh. Anyways, <laughs> do we do talk about poop a lot? <laughs> that is so. So we had a we had a re-record and we talked about how we've talked about poop on like every podcast and we couldn't remember what we talked about on the last one. But your cat took a poop and you had a spray. Oh, that's breeze. right. Bro, we need to start having to say you can't go through life without a butt to poop out of. That's that's the new catchphrase. But inspirational. 
it is it is it is a little inspirational. You can't go through life without a butt. You shouldn't like you know. You shouldn't doubt yourself. You should. Well, no, you should. It's not that you shouldn't doubt yourself. You should question yourself and make sure you're on the right path. Like, but what if I did this? But what if I don't go through life without a butt? Right? Inspirational. Virtual high five. <laughs> Stop, bro. Put that thing away. <laughs> Oh, here's the high five. Ah, oh, there we go. Hold on. Okay, so I'm gonna pull up this stuff for this game. I'm, I think you you'll really already? like it. Yeah, bro. This I think this game will take a while because I think you're gonna hear some of these and you're gonna be like, oh dang, I would have never thought that. So this is this is generally what the game is going to be. So I'm gonna give Jimmy a phrase or not a phrase. I'm gonna I'm gonna give him a, a statement. Or not a state. I'm gonna say things to Jimmy, and he is going to react with what percentage of Americans? No, not not Americans. No, I think it is. No, it is Americans. What percentage of Americans do this specific thing? Does that make sense? And like sure. a lot of these are like really like specific. This is very different than the game you described to me. <laughs> I know, earlier. bro. Sorry, I described it like as like a like a like a would you rather kind of deal. And then when you said this or that, and your example was, do you put the toilet? Which way do you put the toilet paper? And it, yeah, see, and that, I explained it. So to I thought everybody. it was gonna be like a list of things of like, hey, do you do this? Do you stand yeah, a wipe? Do, I, do, you, do you? I used to. I don't. And depending on how small the stall is in a public restaurant stop, or, or public bathroom, I do. Fair enough. What do you think? Are you ready for this? Yeah, sure. I think some of these do are going to stump or crumble. You. What'd you say? Do you fold or crumble your toilet paper? I fold it. Me too. I used to be a crumbler, though. Why? I feel like that wastes toilet paper. It definitely does. Dude, I'm all... Dude, toilet paper is expensive. I don't even want to... I, don't I, even did, it, do I did it when I was like a kid. I think I feel like oh, yeah, once I got into like late high school, I, stopped, I started folding. Yeah, that doesn't matter, dude. You're using your parents' toilet paper at that point. Who cares, bro? Um, yeah, but I feel like it clogs the toilet more. Because you used that is true. Yeah, no, I I agree. Like, I I I that is like one of my biggest fears is clogging the toilet because every time I do it, like I feel like it's gonna overflow and then poop's just gonna go all over my floor. I'm dead serious. That's like a huge fear of mine. But yeah, eh, what can you do? Okay, you ready for this? I got eight of these, bro, and I think some of these you're gonna be kind of shocked about. So the first one is, what percentage of people? Do you think have seen at least a few episodes of Friends? People or Americans? Amer oh, sorry. This is all Americans. All Americans. Sorry. What percentage of Americans have seen Friends? And I'm not talking like the whole thing. This was based yeah, off of episodes, anyone that's episodes. seen at least like a handful of episodes. So my thought process here is older people like grandparents might not have true that's true i feel like people are parents age and our age have seen a few episodes i agree yeah i also don't think the younger generation watches it much you don't think so i remember it always was on nick oh yeah nick at night at like eight nine o'clock yeah, yeah yeah and me and my mom would always watch it but like i mean like Middle school and below, I don't know if they're watching Friends. That's true. So I'm going to say... 75%. Dang, that was a good... That was the exact number. <laughs> 69%. That was really, really close. You're only six... I'd say that's a win. Because a lot of these are like very specific. Should, so. we, say, should we say if we're within 10... 10, 5, something like that. Yeah, 5 or 10%. That wasn't within 5 there. Yeah, close enough. 6. Come on. I was 6 away. All that, right. Dude, I'm surprised you got that one. To be honest, I thought you would go a little bit lower, to be honest. Because, like, uh, 
It's different because our generation, I don't think, would just watch like a few episodes. You know what I mean? Because like they're going to put it on Netflix and they're going to like binge all of it. But like the older generation might just see it on TV and watch a couple episodes. You know what I mean? Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Yeah. I'm well, yeah. I mean, before I binged it, I had seen a couple of episodes. Wait, you binged it? You've seen all the friends? Oh, yeah. I think twice. Oh, dang. I've only ever seen a couple episodes. I've never, I've but never. Were they on a before. break? What do you mean? They they were on a break. Who? If you're a Friends fan, you got that reference. You probably did. Okay, on to the next one. This one was a little interesting. Comment below if they were on a break. Oh my god. This one I kind of like, but I don't know what you'll get with it. What percentage of people? You think eat pasta with a spoon? Ooh! <laughs> I told uh, you, dude. These are good ones. And we're all, we're Americans, right? Yes. All this is strictly one hundred percent American. Wait, wait, wait. Now, does this count like a fork and a spoon? I would. I would probably think, say yeah. I would think so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, actually, because a lot of people will take their fork of pasta and a spoon and use the spoon to twirl up the pasta to twirl it around and then eat it off the fork i would i would i would guess yes actually no i would say yes based on this number i would think it was yes but don't look into what i just said that's a hint that's a little bit of a hint i maybe not because at the end of the day i'll I'll, I'll, straight eating pasta with just a spoon my wife does Katie eats pasta with a spoon. But, like, you got to think, like... She puts put ranch on her steaks, too, doesn't she? No, she doesn't. Ketchup. No, she uses A1. Um, she but, puts ketchup. She puts ketchup. She puts mayonnaise on her hot dog, doesn't she? I put mayonnaise on my hot dog, so really? don't even say that. Yeah, dude. A good sheets dog with some ketchup and mayonnaise on it, bro. Dude, me... Me and Yoda were just me and Yoda were just talking about that yesterday. We were like, "That's disgusting." Nah, just a little bit, a light mayo, some ketchup, some boom boom sauce, some onions, tomatoes on a hot dog, bro. It's the best thing you've ever eaten. <laughs> Think about putting tomatoes on a freaking hot dog. Only a cheap dog. Um, you put tomatoes on your hot dog? I yeah, bro. What do you mean? You put tomatoes on a burger? A burger's not a hot dog, <laughs> bro. They're not that different. They're you, you eat them together, but they're very different. <laughs> okay, they might be somewhat different, but not that much. The one is a burger, like beef, and the other one is beef, pork, and chicken. <laughs> no, you can get all beef hot dogs. Things. What'd you huh? say? No, go ahead. rat intestines. No, stop. You can get all beef hot dogs. You can get all beef hot dogs. You think the ones that cheats are all beef hot dogs? Heck no. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> okay, we're getting really off track here. Pasta with the spoon. No, but at cheats, there are two options for your hot dogs. One, just relish. What? Two, Sauerkraut, onions, mustard. I did make a lot of kraut dogs. Yeah, because me and my dad would always come, come into sheets for two to one hot dogs. That's how we all order two them. one hot dogs. Dang. Bro, hold on real quick. Dude, side I'm going to have to go to sheets when this is done now. Bro, you're going to be disappointed because it's two for 150 now. Really? Since when? When we went for Christmas, because we don't live around a lot of sheets, I paid a dollar fifty for two hot dogs. See, but I've been getting the deal that's that's a three dollar meal deal, and I oh, got it. Gotcha. I got it right before I went home for Christmas, and it's two hot dogs, a bag of fries, and a drink. Okay, yeah that that might stay the same thing then. I mean, which I mean. How? That's a that's a good that's deal. A great deal. That is a good when, deal. 
Especially if two hot dogs are one fifty. Yeah, that is true. And, and then a bag a, of fries is two dollars. That is a good deal, man. Dang, bro. I mean, I mean the two for one hot dogs and a bag of fries would be three dollars. But I mean, <laughs> what kind of quality of hot dog are we talking about, bro? No, but I'm saying that two for one hot dog, two dollar bag of fries. Yeah, no, I and agree. You I agree. drink for free. I agree, dude. I agree. Any size drink. Okay, we're done talking about. You dollar fifty is not bad for two hot dogs. No, it's. And here comes the comments. <laughs> Welcome back to Calorie Cast. <laughs> You think you need any more hot dogs, bro? Is two enough? <laughs> bro would get excited about food. <laughs> bro, how many of those meals you get in seven? <laughs> you stop after just two hot dogs? Uh, More like 200 for 100. <laughs> what? <laughs> Bro wouldn't know what's in a hot dog. Imagine <laughs> buying 200 <laughs> hot dogs, bro. <laughs> bro, I don't even think I can eat more Dude, than four hot time dogs. I was, one time I was working at McDonald's and someone came in and ordered 100 Big Mac meals. Ah, dude, that's crazy. And we told them we couldn't do it. They did have to call in advance for that. That we couldn't do it. It was for like some party. Like a business thing or something. He literally was just like, yeah, I need 100 Big Macs right now. But think about that. Look, I was working the grill. That would have been That's 200 rough. patties. Yeah, dude. That would have just been for one order. Rough, bro. Plus all the other orders you got coming in. Yeah, that's 200 patties. And then, like, the buns. Yeah, that's true. Why why are we talking about fast food? This is the fast this is a food calorie cast. It's the surf and turf podcast, baby. We talk about food. It's the calorie cast. Okay. Pasta with a spoon, bro. What are you thinking? Oh. <laughs> You're just like, what? <laughs> I forgot. I forgot we were doing that. You're like, what are you talking about, bro? Sorry. This is gonna be a pain to edit. <laughs> No. Oh, maybe edit in the shorts. Yeah, probably. But, but you gotta think, pasta with a spoon doesn't just include like you know, like spaghetti pasta. That's also like your spiral pasta stuff like that. Would mac and cheese be a pasta? I would think, yeah. So then I'm gonna go sixty percent. Sixty. That's a bit high. It's 28. That's why I was like, maybe it counts a spoon. Maybe it doesn't. I don't know. That's what made me, you saying I would give him the number that would make me think yes. So that's what made me go high. You made me go high. How many people actually eat pasta with a spoon? (sighs) I don't know. Apparently 20%. Apparently 28%. Okay. I was going to go like 30%, but the things you, you're talking about Katie eating with a spoon. You talked That's about. True. I did kind of like gaslight you. You kept like giving me more examples of people eating it with spoon. I did kind of gaslight you into using a bigger number. Uh, All right, give me the next one. This one no, is not food related. No, this one's not. Well, maybe, maybe, maybe. Uh, <laughs> what percentage of people pee in the shower? <laughs> How is that food related? I mean, pee. You oh. can drink it, I guess. Well, what percentage of America is dudes? <laughs> well, my wife. Well, I'm just saying because all dudes be in the shower. Let's be real. <laughs> well, I was making the reference like, oh, my wife eats pasta with a spoon. Well, my wife. <laughs> uh, you know, you know what I mean though. Like every dude. Oh yeah, in the yeah. Shower. Oh my gosh, yeah. Yeah. But actually, I got a story. We got in trouble as kids. Because uh, we would just, instead of going in the toilet in our basement, we would just open that shower and pee. <laughs> Bro! And then, dad, and then my dad would come down to shower oh in the morning. Oh my gosh, bro. And we wouldn't, we wouldn't run any water. We'd just straight pee wow. in that shower. And my dad would come in the morning. And be like, why am I stepping in urine? Why does it smell so bad? Yeah, because this was just like a... 
Like, uh, how do you describe that shower down there, Austin? Um, like a like a slop shower. Basically, I, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah, was yeah. pretty much like in like a storage room, and it was like just like a shower head, and there was like a block about like that high at the bottom. Yeah, so like it wasn't like like. And it was like a curtain all the way around it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In like a corner. So like it wasn't like like a legit shower. It wasn't so like it a tub shower. There. Yeah, yeah. Huh? It wasn't like a tub shower, like you know, like like a stand up. No, it like... wasn't like a legit. Like no. it was literally a shower head with concrete blocking. Yeah. But. Yeah. What so you... how many people pee in the shower? Seventy five percent. That is also a bit high, fifty-two percent. Really? Yeah, I thought that was kind of low, to be honest. Fifty-two percent? Yeah, fifty-two percent. I thought that was so kind of low. Forty-eight people are liars. <laughs> That's what I was. I was like, some somebody's lying about this. Somebody's lying about this. Dang, some of these are actually. This is the last food-related one. There's only two. This okay. one, the next one. What percentage of people put? Chocolate in the fridge. Thirty-five. Did you did you put chocolate in the fridge growing up? Like, did your parents put like candy in the fridge? Uh we put chocolate chips in the fridge, but not like candy, like Halloween candy or something. I don't know. Bro, that stuff that stuff wasn't <laughs> that stuff wasn't around long, long enough. enough. Here come the comments. Yeah. Dude, um, literally at Christmas, David got a candy bar in a stocking and he handed it to me. He was like, because he was like, we have so many Halloween candy laying around. Because David just doesn't eat his candy. Why? Dude, David, do you remember like on top of our fridge growing up, we had those like little bin, like those little like containers and they were like our candies. One was mine. One was David's. Mine would be like, mine would be gone like November 10th. Oh, dang. David's would be in there like he would add Halloween can or he'd add like Easter candy into oh, it. And there'd still be. Well, if I didn't eat it first. Dang. Yeah, I don't think I were. Dude, one I year. I remember that. David had a thing of TikTok, Tic Tacs in the car and these Tic Tacs literally lost their coloring. Oh, they've been in there so long. <laughs> he left. He and he would like continuously eat them. And like he had TikTok Tic Tacs in the car for over a year. Dang. That's disgusting. the same pack of Tic Tacs. Meanwhile, I like I started eating Tic Tacs, bro, and like they're gone. I'll just, That's disgusting. Tic Tacs. Just keep eating them. Really? I I wasn't a huge fan of Tic Tacs. What 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 was your guess Dude, on I'm this? Just fat. Oh my god. I'm addicted to eating things. Once something's in front of me, bro. Like, and now the game ends, and we talk about our. Is that the really last one? No, it was a joke. Oh, I was really? like, you didn't give me the answer to that one. No, no, I have it. What? What did you say it was? What? What did you guess? Thirty-five percent. Thirty-five percent. This one is actually seventy-eight percent. Really? But I think what when. It it probably counts like melting chocolate and like chocolate chips and stuff. You know what I mean? So it's probably yeah. not like just candy chocolate. It's Wait, did probably you put like. Your, did you put like your chocolate or candy in the fridge? Yeah. Uh -huh. Really? Yeah. I still do it, to be honest. Really? Yeah, because I don't like it melty or anything, you know? If it gets too hot out, you know, it gets a little melty. You know what I mean? It doesn't last long enough for you know. <laughs> Jimmy's like, I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. This one, the next one kind of shocked me a little bit. What percentage of people separate whites and colors for laundry? Uh... <laughs> you got to do some analysis like on the friends one, man. <laughs> so I would think... That a lot of older people do. That would be my guess, yes. Like, I don't know if my mom, my dad, I don't think does, but my mom at least used to. Mm -hmm. And I remember, dude, there was this girl at camp. We would all share, like, two washers and two dryers. And there was this girl 
who every week she would do three loads of laundry. She would do three. a load of a load of whites, a load of colors, and a load of like towels and sheets. Dang, bro. And we're all like, there's a bunch of us trying to use this one. So like, I'm you know throwing it all in. Yeah. Just one load. Yeah, Everything I used that week into one load. Yeah. Cause I ain't trying to like I'm trying to be considerate of people, you know? Yeah, bro. Yeah, you don't got time for that. Yeah. So I come down and there'd be one person using both machines doing three loads. And I'm like, what you doing? That's messed up. That's messed up. So I mean you're supposed to, right? Separate your whites and colors, yeah. Separate your whites and colors. I have a polo that has a white collar and a red like top here, and I accidentally put it with a little bit of hot water for, and then caught myself and turned it to cold, and so the collar's now pink. Oh god! But um, sixty percent, sixty, sixty. This one. It's not even close to 60. It's 29, bro. Really? Yeah, 29% of people separate their whites and colors. Yep. Because, like, like, I know you're supposed to. I'm just too lazy to. Well, no, it's not. It's not even that you're too lazy, bro. It's for one person, it doesn't make sense. For two people, it doesn't even make sense. Because, like, how many white clothes do you have? What, like, maybe, like, five or six articles? My mom used to always do it, but she would put, like, like undergarments in with the whites. Gotcha. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, because like, like my th- she she was like things that have been washed a lot and got a lot of the color out of it. Gotcha. No, that makes sense. She would put it with the whites. Yeah, because like with but, one person, even two people, like what you might have ten garments a week that are white. Like I'm not gonna do a load with just ten pieces of clothes. You know, like that just yeah. I think it would also depend on like. You know, if you have an in-home... Oh, well, that too, yeah, of course. Oh, my gosh. Because, like, for me, like, I pay for every load. You yeah, know? bro, you're not going to separate. That's a dollar fifty a load, bro. <laughs> That's expensive, dog. I did do two loads today, and one was one was just a bunch of bed sheets and towels. Hmm. Yeah. But, like, it was, like, every bed sheet. It was two bed sheets, um, a blanket... Pillowcases and two towels. So that's a pretty full load, something, you know. Something. I got three left, man. Right, These right. ones, the last two are actually really like I was surprised. Uh, third one, third to last. What percentage of people back into parking spaces? Oh, people who have <laughs> people who roast people in the comments. Uh, jerks see I'm a pull through guy oh bro yeah this doesn't include pull throughs man Dude, my brother my brother hates it and got people back in the spots yeah and he's like he he hates it when like if my mom were to park and she could pull through mm-hmm. and she doesn't he, oh, he's like bro. are you kidding me <laughs> And That's so, cringe. And he's got a friend like that, and his friend drives a big truck, and yeah. his friend would ba- would pull through backwards just oh to get on him. Gosh. He would back in and then pull through all the way, so he still has to back out when they leave. Oh, <laughs> what a jerk. That's kind of funny. What are you mm-hmm. thinking? Good that people do this. I feel like truck drivers do. Like people who drive like pickup trucks. Yeah. Always are backing in. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna say forty five percent. That's pretty close. Thirty three. That was pretty close. Because you got to think like how many parking spaces are ones that are like flat, meaning like it's just one parking space that you can't pull through. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like. Most parking spaces are like the double facing where it's like one here, one here that you can like pull through if you need to. Like, I'm not going to back into a spot that's like if there's a car here and an empty spot here, I'm not going to back in there. I would never do that. Well, do you back in the spots? Uh, it depends sometimes. 
when I lived at home, I used to back in to my spot in the driveway. That makes sense. And my brother does it too. Yeah, you know, no, and that, that was sense. especially when I was working, I'd have to be at work at eight with a half hour drive. Yeah. So it was nice to just get in the car and just pull straight out. Yeah, no, I feel that. I feel that. Sometimes it a lot of it just depends on where it's at and like what like where it's positioned, you know, stuff like and that. that. And you know like my parents' driveway. Like, oh yeah. You know, I just like pull up by the garage and swing right back in. It no, was that makes sense. Mad easy. Okay. Second to last. This one this one kind of got me, I'm not gonna lie. What percentage of people own an iPhone? We're going U.S., right? Yep, U.S. alone, man. Because in, like, other countries, they use Androids. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. U.S. alone. U.S. iPhone users. I mean, iPhone, pretty good. I mean, we both have iPhones. Think again. <laughs> Here, we'll, we'll, we'll do my analysis. We both Old have iPhones, people. man. <laughs> Old people aren't using iPhones, though. Uh, generally speaking, yeah, I agree. It, it's it's people who are cheap aren't using iPhones. It, See, both my parents are Android that's users, true. though. Android. My grandma's an Android user. Then my grandma, my grandma kept saying, "I can't get my iPhone." Or, or no, she was like, "Why does it come up and say to like Cole liked my message?" Yeah. And I was like, because you don't have an iPhone. And she was like, I have an iPhone. <laughs> and I'm like, no, you don't. She was like, it's not an Apple one, but I have an iPhone. <laughs> that sounds like something. <laughs> and we were it's like, no, you have an Android. No, I don't. I have an iPhone. It's just not Apple. <laughs> okay, Grandma. Okay. <laughs> no. That, but see, like, my grandma has an iPhone because she wants, she wanted it so that we could teach her how to use it. Because I have no idea how to use an Android. Like, no idea. I know how to use an Android just from helping people with Androids. Exactly. Like your parents and your grandma. What and you people from church. Oh, A church, lot of people from church on my iPhones. That's true. Um, I'm going to say 63%. Oh, that's somewhat close. 45 I I thought it would be higher. More I, people don't than do. I thought it would be higher. I thought it'd be closer to what you said, like sixty percent. I really thought it was gonna be like, cause I, I mean, everyone has iPhones. Jesus. Our producer in the background has been sending me all of his guesses, and he said eighty-seven. Eighty-seven, bro. And I was gonna use his, and then I was like, "There's no way." Eighty-seven is way too high. Cause he was close on one of them. The I think the pasta one. Eight, the pasta. Seven. What was the pasta one? Oh, pasta. Uh, eats pasta with a spoon. Oh, yeah. Well, how many? Twenty eight. Twenty well, eight percent. He guessed thirty seven. Oh dang, that is. Oh no, that's the no. The freezer one's the one you got close on. He guessed seventy seven on. Oh, uh, how many on, people on, put chocolate the in the fridge. fridge? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. My room. Now that I think about it, my roommate put chocolate in the fr in our mini fridge. In the it's room. common, man. It's common. Last one, and this one, this one legit. I don't like chocolate cold though. Why not? I don't like it hard. You know. What do you like? It soft. Yeah, I like it like chewy. Nah, dude, I like it hard. Okay, last one. You ready? This one shocked. Yeah, me. I really did. How many people, or what percentage of people, have their concealed to carry permit? Ooh, this shocked me, bro. That makes you want to say higher than I would think. Maybe. Let's see what a producer guess is. Maybe, Oh, bro. no way. No way. Our producer guess 78%. <laughs> bro! Bro! <laughs> that would mean me and Jimmy both have our concealed carry, bro. Also, you used to be over 21. That's true. I don't I don't know so, if this I don't know if this census was of like people that are legally able to have it or if it's just I, I'm, I'm assuming 30, it is. I'm gonna say thirty five percent. Thirty five. My guess is this is not people that are legal because it's eight percent. 
it was one in ten people have their concealed to carry, which is ten percent. But it well, no, some it's eight percent. But someone basically said like one in ten people have their concealed to carry, eight percent. Which one in ten people? I mean, that's I think that's probably about right. One in ten people. I don't know. I don't know anybody that has their concealed to carry. I I really don't. Oh yeah, I do. Your dad doesn't he? Yeah, that's what I thought. Doesn't your brother have it too? Or your brother wants it? Yeah, he wants it. He should get it. <laughs> he can't carry at work though, can he? No. I didn't think so. But that's he kind should of... carry it. He should carry outside of work. Yeah. Yeah, I, don't, I mean it's it's kind of crazy, bro. This is... just because you know. If someone who's been released is upset with him. No, I feel that. I feel that. That makes sense. Okay. That's it, man. I think you did pretty well, to be honest. Yeah. And I think that takes us to time. Really? How long have we been going? Almost 40 minutes. Okay. That's why I wanted to start it so fast, bro. We get so carried away with just talking about yeah, random we stuff. Talked about, we talked about food for a while. Bro, long we talked time. about hot dogs. We talked about wieners for at least 10 minutes. Stop. Bro, we talked about hot dogs for at least 10 minutes. <laughs> Sorry, bro. Anyways, any final words for the viewers of the podcast, Jimmy? Don't be mean. There you go. Don't be mean. And we'll see you next week, guys.